Hey guys, I wanted to show you a two well two plugins that I made. Uh, one is called Tags, and the other is called Autofill. And these are things that definitely exist. Um, they are, are readily available out there. Tagging is when it creates those. As you're typing, you hit comma or tab, and it creates tags out of those with close buttons. And then Autofill is as you're typing, it starts to fill in what you it thinks you want to know behind you. Um, these two are really great user interface elements. Autofill is great because it doesn't have a drop down, so you don't have to st you don't have to create a drop down, style a drop down, and have it you know go over your interface. Um, it, it it all works in with that same text box that you're working in, so it makes it really nice to integrate into sites. And then tags is really nice because it gives you three pieces of functionality all in one text box. It gives you the ability to um, list items, to update items. To delete items and to create new items, that's four pieces of functionality. Updates really kind of iffy because you have to delete and then create, but you know, still kind of there. But all that functionality in this in a very easy to understand list, instead of having to have a list of items and an add button and a create button. If you only have one piece of data that you're listing, instead of like OpenJS grid where you have multiple pieces of data, um, this is one piece of data and it's a great great input for it. So let's look at how to use these. I'm going to start with autofill. So I created a, um, um, here we have the CSS file, where we have jQuery come in and then here's autofill and tags. Uh, these are really small files so autofill.js is 77 lines and, and tags is only uh, like 120 lines and then the CSS file again 60 lines. Uh, conversely here's another here's another plugin that does um, this tagging, here's what the tags look like and stuff like that and if we um, if we check out uh, their their code for that, uh, for theirs, so theirs is uh, let me get to the bottom, uh, 1,083 lines for doing basically what we're doing here. I'm sure they do more than me, but uh, you know my goal was to just rewrite these, so I learned it and to do it right. The reason this text box is so big is because my browser is zoomed in right now. Okay, so let's figure out how to use autofill. So here's my page, uh, here's my text box. So I'll just grab a reference to my text box by saying test input and I'll just say autofill and I have to give it some data right so let's give it some data and in this case I'll create an array JavaScript and you can create the array with Ajax and then feed it in here doesn't matter JavaScript my SQL let's do jQuery uh, oh my god we can do Ajax and let's just do one more how about uh, PHP okay so there's our data array and that's autofill so if I refresh uh, it has no method autofill because it's a lowercase f. There we go. So now as I type, you can see it's going to start to try and fill out what I'm doing. And it's really nice. It's not in my way either. So, uh, you know, if I keep typing and it's all working fine, and if I type in jQuery, it's, it's still fine. And I can hit the tab key, so ja tab. It allows me to fill out the whole word JavaScript really quickly. Uh, so if you know what you're typing, it's super easy. So jQuery tab. And I can also use the arrow key, so jQuery and I can hit enter as well. All three are working so that it can it can do that. Um, again, my sequel. Okay, so that's autofill. Pretty straightforward. Let's comment this out and let's talk about the tagging one. So we'll do the same thing. Uh, test input uh, dot tags. And for this one, let's start with some default tags. We can start. We'll start with JavaScript and my sequel as like something we loaded in from the, from the database. Okay, so this is a little has some style in it, so we've got these, and I can add another one. I can say, uh, you know, jQuery, and uh, you know, mouth and hello and Sean Clark and cool exactly welcome. Okay, so here's tags, and it's pretty easy. And you can close the tags and just you know close specific ones. And, and there's event listeners I put on here, so if you want to say, uh, uh, let's just say on tag remove function e and then tag and let's just say console.log uh, remove tag so if we come in here and we say you know blah and let's remove blah and you can see I've removed blah and I can actually get a reference to all of the items by clicking that and you can see it's got a common list of my whole thing so it's really easy to delete and add and it's got an event listener for add as well etc Okay, but the cool thing, the reason I'm making this video is not that these two are fine by themselves, but I combined them together, and that's where it gets cool. So you first call tags, okay, and then you call uh, autofill, 
and they know how to work together. Not a lot of work had to go into that, but a little bit. So tags and then autofill. Okay, so now with that, basically I can start to autofill as I do tags. So I'm able to do this. And these are name normal tags, but again, I can grab from my autofill. Now you're probably thinking, well, autofill's great if it requires it, right? So let's do that. So for tags, we can add a little bit of extra things. We can say uh, require data to be true. So now it knows about the data and it won't let you do anything that doesn't exist. So if I type in cool, it won't work or blah, 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 blah. Well, nothing will work unless it's in my list. So now we're cool. Now you're probably thinking, well, what about these duplicates, right? There's two of the same one here. That's a problem. So you can actually say unique and set to true. And so now I won't be able to type JavaScript again. It won't let me in my SQL. And hello, it, it will let me do. Or I'm sorry, it won't because it's not in my list, but PHP. So this is great if you have a specific list of things that you can possibly pick from and you want autofill with these tags. So that's basically it. And if we look at it at normal size, this is what it looks like at regular size. So you can see. And again, so that's that's tags and autofill with working together. So uh, hopefully you guys like it. One thing I didn't do that I'm going to do now is limit the number of tags, the, the maximum tags. So I'll go ahead and do that now. But uh, yeah, so that's that. Thanks for watching.